Hey, we're back with Aggressive Inline. This is the second half of the Civic Center, and this is the start of the second part of the game, basically. Yeah, back half. Back half the game. Again, not starting with Movie Lot, because we don't actually have the key for that. So just starting with the level that we have. And we've got Civic Center, we've got Industrial, we've got Boardwalk. You get the Movie Lot key in Boardwalk, so we'll take a short detour after that, but but then it'd basically be in order again till the end of the game. Yep. So when we left the Civic Center, we left it in ruins, and if you can remember. I'm sure they remember. I mean, we did kind of destroy the place. Yeah, we demolished a, a statue and sent the giant ball over to destroy the clock tower. And speaking of the clock tower, uh, these doors are now unlocked for us, and going through brings us out into the giant train station. And this is the new addition to the level, and it is pretty big. It it doesn't exactly like double the size because the Civic Center was already big or was big already. But I think like this room is as big or bigger than like industrial, for example, or wow. at least the the main part of industrial. So there's quite a few things to do in this train station, and oh, yeah, that's cool. in any other game, this might be its own level. Yeah. So yeah, some levels do have a lot for you to un unlock. You know, you get the key, and there is a lot there. I mean, some levels don't have as much as others, but usually the small levels get small additions, and the big levels get big additions. Oh snap! That was cool. Physics. Yeah. Physics right there. Oh man, I wish I could do that. And and usually I actually get like jump over both trains by doing that. Uh, in my practice I did and the first time I played through I did. So right now while recording I was a little confused, but if you didn't get that there, just go and do what the developers wanted and actually jump over the trains. Oh. That's be Train jump. Yeah. They should, they should, they, is there one for grinding from one train to another? Yeah. Okay. There was one for grinding a train, grinding from one train to another train, and then jumping over both trains. And usually I end up getting jump over both trains while grinding from one to the other or something. I don't know, I get them at like the same time. But, alright, they've, uh, they really want you to get a lot of points now. You know, in a minute and a half I gotta get, what, 650,000? Yeah. And so this is really where special tricks come into play, and the special trick that I got in, mu in the museum, the double back cross grab, is pretty much like, I, I haven't gotten all the specials, but it's pretty much like the best one, I think. Because it's like 9,000 and it's short. I mean, sure, 9,000 is like the minimum amount of points, but it, that's the same amount of points as like the Bio 900 or the Superman Lake Flip. But I haven't been paying attention to the tricks, so I have no idea what you're talking about. Basically, if you see me do a trick and it's yellow at the bottom, that means it's a special. Right, I saw that. So, th well, that trick is like much fa is faster than the others. Oh, uh, okay, that's cool. That makes sense. So it's the the most ripe for uh, losing it over and over. So if you like a lot of variance in your combos, I'm pretty much gonna be, I'm pretty much gonna be doing the same thing. Before I, I'm pretty much just gonna be using that over and over and over because eventually it gets to like get a million points in one combo. Really? And I'm like, uh, wow, that's pretty awesome. Um, get oh, oh, <laughs> I was wondering where the rope was. You're one floor up. Yeah, and there was me in the cutscene. Uh, that's a good way to indicate if you're at the right place, if you're in the cutscene, because it's like in-game. At least those cutscenes, those preview cutscenes, they're in-game and happen at that moment. Like, they take a freeze frame of time, and I don't know why this jump is so hard onto that rail, but, like, the camera keeps messing me up. And this is, like, all my fault, because you'll see once I finally get it right that I literally just went forward and didn't try to mess with the camera and just trusted in it and it worked see that's how i found um yep see i found that uh people complained a lot about um about the sonic the hedgehog 
<laughs> camera, right? If, if it you, always comes back to Sonic for me. Yeah, it always... <laughs> Um, especially the Sonic Adventure games. And people always complain about the camera. And frankly, I found that if you try and... If you make sure you don't fuck with the camera, and you you kind of just trust in it, usually it works out better for you than, than trying to adjust it on the fly. Because, you know... I mean, obviously, there are times when, when the camera is just a sack of dicks, but Bravo, young Trubador, but Bravo. there are still the times where it's it's the user's fault and they don't realize just how much of the, their fault it was because they were busy trying to micromanage the camera that's supposed to follow the action. You want to know what the uh, challenge name for grinding that ATM was? What? Welfare State. Wow, they they got political in this bitch. Yeah, back in uh, 2001 or 02. Yeah, it's still relevant today. It's even more relevant today. This game suddenly holds up. Yeah, this game's in its message. This game's director reminds me uh, of. Um, fuck, I, I had someone. Wait, this game's that. director? Yeah, the person who the person who directed the development of this game. They reminded me Acclaim? Of like, no, I don't think there was one person. I mean, Z-Axe... There's always a project manager. Z-Axe has made it, but also uh, that is the nice way to get uh, a combo with two horizontal poles in it. I mean, it's right there for you. Um, the specific challenges like that get tougher in later levels. Like, in Boardwalk, there's one where it's like, get so-and-so combo with a vault, wall ride, and horizontal pole all thrown in. And there's, like, one place where you can do that. So, do you think the sudden political message of this game is even weirder than Jetx 20s announcer wanting to destroy the Earth? Or, like, is this, this weirder? Is, I think this is weirder. I think the Jetx 20 guy, he, he was pretty extreme to begin with. So, him wanting to destroy the Earth is, uh... Uh, I guess he didn't really necessarily want to destroy the Earth. He wanted the Earth destroyed, not necessarily by his own actions. Um, and 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 I think this guy, uh, this this game's sudden <sighs> sudden political stance is a little bit more jarring. Because the stance is so level-headed. As you grind this next uh, rail a giant American flag becomes like become well g gets draped over the side and so you can look at it and go I did that you also, uh, just kidding you also uh, I'm just spitballing here maybe they could in include in uh, aggressive in line two, uh, the squeak wool which is coming out why the squeak wool why did why why what relation does Aggressive in Line have with... The second game is the sequel. Sequel as a word is not gone now. What's sequel? What is that? Sequel is a word that uh, means uh, the second in a series, or like the third or the fourth. What do you... I, I don't understand. I thought that's what Squeakwool was for. I'm confused. The state of America has been changed, people. Squeakwool. Cool. Also, I totally forgot to get the airfield key. I I get I'm getting confused a lot more um, As in you these. Get older? Yes. Uh, my dementia is starting to set in. So if uh, later uh, games in this LP are more of me like asking where my pants are, then my bad. I've had Alzheimer's for as long as I can remember. Yeah, my grandpa has Alzheimer's. I shouldn't joke. Well, that's been uh, the Civic Center. Wait, there was one thing left. That, one you mean challenge the, left. That, the purple, oh, that was just me getting a high score. Oh, okay, so you'll just do that. Yeah, camera. I'll just do that off camera. I just do that off camera. So that was the Civic Center Part 2. Or, I guess, you know, Civic, original Civic Center took two videos, so, well... Did it really? Yeah. Oh. Civic Center is a whole lot more complete, and we have a key, and I bet you forgot that was the Civic Center, because yeah. it was in a train station the whole time. That's true. You totally did not forget. I actually did forget. 
Is this another Alzheimer's joke? No, or, it's uh, not. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Next time we're moving on to the uh, industrial? second part of industrial. Yeah. The first time around, I had nothing but bad words for the level. Maybe the second time around, things will be different. Spoiler, is, is it better? Spoiler alert. Well, my feelings for the next level are...